Haven't seen Toma in a while. Who knows what that guy's working on these days? <laughs> Probably something of the utmost importance, as ever. Taking guests out for lavish meals, cleaning up around the house, the usual. We have people like that to thank for the decline of the samurai spirit in this day and age. If you're just gonna schmooze your way through every problem in life, you might as well put your blade on the scrap heap. It's like everything. Use it or lose it. Also, I heard he's Mondstadt, born and bred. Oh, well, no wonder. What do you think Miss Kamisato even sees in that guy? <sighs> Sorry, I haven't slept too well the last couple of days, on account of all this rain we've been having. Wait, what are you all doing here? Has something happened? <laughs> we were just having a little chat on our break. It's time we were going. There's still lots to do. We're busy people, Toma. You do well to grow a sense of urgency, too. Well, uh, thank you, gentlemen. I'll think about that when my vacation's over. Sorry I'm a little late. Something came up. Yep, <laughs> I sure did. No big deal, though. People like to criticize those who don't fit in. It's the same everywhere. If a little private gossiping helps them let off some steam, well, good for them. It does no harm to the Kamisato clan. Wouldn't you agree? <sighs> exactly. Or live and let live, as they say. Today, it's time for a hard-earned rest. There's been so much to deal with since I got out of Komori Tea House. Oh man, this vacation's been a long time coming. Uh, there's too much going on here. Let's find somewhere more peaceful to discuss the plan for the day. You're still my guest after all, and I'd like to hear your ideas. I keep thinking, since I'm the host here, we ought to do something you'll enjoy. But despite that, I still haven't got a clear plan on where to take you. So, what do you usually prefer? Indoor or outdoor activity? You want to go out for a stroll? <laughs> Perfect! I have a couple of places I was going to recommend. If you like cats and dogs, there's a great place I can take you. I go there pretty much every time I have a day off. You can't help but be in a good mood when you're surrounded by cute animals. Feeling that, we could go downtown if you'd prefer. Narukami Island will be packed right now, so we could go to Rito instead. <laughs> Back to where we first met. I haven't been there in a long time, actually. Which one are you feeling? It's up to you. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd pick that one. Nice to know we share the same interests. There's a Sakura tree in Hanamizaka where I go to feed them. Let's meet there in a short while. I need to grab a few things, though. Can't go there empty-handed. This is a pretty good spot, right? There are tons of stray cats and dogs here at the outskirts. Every time I come to Kamori Tea House, I bring some food for them. It just sort of became a tradition over time. At first, it was a bit of a chore, but the more time I spent with them, the more I came to enjoy it. You think so? Well, feed them enough times and I'm sure you'll win their affection too. Not only that, you'll also start to feel that they're your responsibility. Whenever you have any free time, you'll find yourself desperate to come and visit them. Why don't you try feeding them? I brought some of their favorite food just so you could get into their good graces. <laughs> don't worry, I've trained them to not be aggressive toward humans. They'll still run away if they find someone threatening, but I'm pretty sure they'll like you. You're an approachable person, and they can tell. Animals are very sensitive to these things. Just place some food here, and they'll come running. Wow, 
Well, that didn't take long. Look at that! Best buds already. Some of the dogs are even showing their bellies. That's a sign that they really trust you. Uh, well, <laughs> you'll rarely see Tarumaru roll onto his back, though. He's a ninja dog, so he's always on guard in case an enemy approaches. Speaking of ninja dogs, I actually saw one the other day on the beach north of Konda Village. Uh, well, that's the thing. They rarely go off on their own. Usually, they stick with their human ninja partners. After retiring, most ninja dogs are taken in by their partner, or sometimes someone else in the Yashiro Commission will take them in. It's extremely rare to find them on their own in the wild, so it makes me a little concerned. <laughs> Believe me, I wanted to bring it back to the Yashiro Commission, but it wouldn't let me. I tried establishing some trust by petting it on the head, but it gave me a nasty bite. Still, I don't want to give up on it. Nobody really goes out that way, and I don't know what it would have to eat out there. That's probably a good idea. It was in a very aggressive mood the last time I saw it. I'm worried it might bite you if we try to approach it, though. Let's wait until it's in need before going to its aid. That's probably safer. But back to our other animal friends. Now that the weather's getting colder, I'm wondering whether I should knit some sweaters for these strays. Problem is, most of them don't actually like being touched, so I can't take their measurements very easily. That's not a bad idea! We could take photos of them from different angles, then work out their measurements by using other objects in the picture as a reference. See? You're the real fixer here! Let's give it a try! Well, I think we've got enough photos now. I can't get over how cute they are. They're just adorable, aren't they? Oh. I'll have to think carefully about what kind of sweaters to knit for each of them. The colors should be complimentary. Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's buy some yarn from the next store we pass. You know, the first time I came here, there was just one stray dog on its own. I still remember the first time I fed it. It was a rainy day. The Kamisato clan had just introduced a series of new policies, but a few of the more stubborn clan elders were extremely resistant to the changes. I was holding my umbrella on my way to visit one such gentleman of senior status. The plan was to talk him into supporting the clan's decision. Sadly, he wasn't interested in having a conversation. He didn't even let me in. As soon as he saw me coming, he got his samurai to send me away. I mean, I fixed it in the end, of course. It's just that the first few visits didn't go so smoothly. So, anyway, after they turned me away, the weather went from bad to worse. The wind was so strong it rendered my umbrella completely useless. Before long, I was drenched from head to toe. I must have looked like a real mess. I decided to take shelter under a tree and found a stray dog sitting there who had the same idea as me. It saw me and moved a little further in, like it was trying to make room for me. So we sat there together, I shared my onigiri with it, stone cold by this point, uh, but still edible, and we ended up huddling together, waiting for the rain to stop. As far as the big shots are concerned, I'm just an expendable servant boy. I always have to be mindful about what they might want, and what I can do for them in return. But when I'm with these little guys and gals, everything's so much simpler. One stone cold onigiri and, hey presto, <laughs> we're friends for life. Even when I show up empty-handed, they still come to me. When it comes down to it, I think it's these simple and straightforward connections that I value the most. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Ended up giving you the unabridged version. <laughs> Shall we come visit this place again some other time? Great! I'll see you soon! Oh, 
was so sleepy. I had some things I needed to do, so I ended up burning the midnight oil to get those sweaters knitted. I wonder if they'll actually suit them, though. Hmm. Let's start by testing them out on the friendlier ones. This one's for Petal. Oh, and uh, this one's for Darko. And this one's for Goldilocks. <sighs> With any luck, that should see them through the winter. Then, come the spring, a new year will begin. And they'll be free to roam the wilds once again. <sighs> you know, if you take one day at a time and be kind to the world, good things will come your way eventually. That might sound a bit naive, but I really do believe it. At least, it seems to have worked for me, you know? 